guys, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I wanted to do an Amazon favorites video and I've wanted to do it for a while. I've just never really gotten around to do it and I wasn't sure how to do it because so many of my favorites are functional items. So like I can't necessarily sit here with it and show you it. Does that make sense? So what we're going to do is I'm going to start my intro and then I'm going to kind of, there'll be different clips of my various items and I'm going to show you like the functionality of them, why I like them, different things like that. I don't remember the pricing of my items offhand, but I can tell you they are absolutely affordable and they work because I've done the trial and error of buying kind of garbagier items, having them break, buying something a little bit more affordable but higher price point um, and having it work out. So I will put all of the links to my items down below as they appear in my video. Um, but I'm not gonna really talk about pricing in my video because I'm not quite sure. I can't remember how much I paid for each thing. So with that, come along with me on this Amazon favorites journey. Before we start, I do wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. It means the world to me. If you like this video and you wanna see more Amazon favorites, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, comment down below. If you like me and you want to see more of me, go ahead and hit the subscribe. I try to put out two to three videos a week. So with that, let's dive in. So the first thing that I wanted to show was my ring light. So this is what I use for my YouTube videos. So it's really tall on the tripod. It does have the ability to get smaller. So for most of my videos, I have it at the smallest setting and I set it on my table. Um, but it also has several options for lighting. So if you turn it on, it has like a LED light option or it has like a warmer light option. You can tone it down, make it brighter. Um, and your phone can clip here so you can do like landscape or you can rotate this and do portrait. So it's a really great light. It was super affordable compared to some of the other ones that I've seen on Amazon. The one thing I will say I'm not a huge fan of with this is the cord. So in order to work, it has to be like plugged in and the cord's not super long. So I wish it had the option for like batteries or something like that. It also comes with a USB remote. So if you're taking pictures, you can click the remote. I just never got around to setting it up. So this is probably my favorite. So this is under my sink. The next items I wanted to show you were this cleaning rack here um, and these two cubbies here. So the cleaning rack I bought on Amazon, um, it has suction cups, so it can actually suction to the bottom. And these two things slide out. It just didn't fit in my thing the way I needed it to, but they slide this way rather than this way. But you're supposed to put it in long ways. But I felt like this organized my cleaning supplies well enough the way it was, so I just leave it. These are super cool. These are actually like some clear acrylic drawers that you're supposed to put like in a vanity. Um, but I use them for like my, these are some bakeware pods. And then these are my um, dishwasher pods. So I help, I feel like they just help keep it clean and organized. They're stackable. It comes in a set of two. Um, and then I put my other like cleaning supplies on top. So I really liked the setup that I have here. It helps keep it organized. Um, and I bought both of those on Amazon. The next thing that I bought is, well, first I bought my coffee pot there, but the, this tray. So with this coffee pot and how it's situated underneath my cabinets, when we turn it on in the morning, I don't want it to heat up and melt and warp my cabinets. So we were constantly having to pick this up and pull it out and then push it back. Well, I bought this tray, which is, it's for appliances, and you can wheel it out and wheel it back in. And it's really nice and smooth. And so it's helped us kind of like alle alleviate the problem that we were having where we were having to pick up this entire unit and like move it out. This was super affordable too. I think it was less than $20, I'm pretty sure. So. You could use this for any sort of an appliance too. It doesn't have to just be like your coffee pot, like whatever will fit on here. And I think you can get in a one pack or maybe a two pack, but I got just the one. Another one of the things that I got on Amazon was this um, T3 
tiered like makeup or jewelry, whatever you want to call it, organizer. Um, it comes in a pack of four, I'm pretty sure. And they all have dividers. So the dividers, I have the extra dividers down here, but you can basically divide it up however you want. So this is what I keep a ton of my like extra samples that I'm trying to use. And, and I have it all divided up um, in terms of like, I think that this is like lotions and hair stuff and just different stuff. So I was really happy with these. They stack or you can use them individually and they slide out really nicely. I've never, I don't have any problem with them. So those were super affordable as well. You could make it taller if you needed to. I just didn't have a ton of cabinet space. So the last couple pieces I have for my Amazon favorites video are going to be some clothing pieces. Um, I'm not going to try them on in this video, but if you're interested in seeing a like Amazon clothing um, try on haul video type thing, let me know. Um, I'm happy to make one of those. I do buy a ton of clothes on Amazon. Um, so just let me know. But I wanted to highlight a couple pieces. So the first one, I guess I'll just show you in black because the black one's not as ratty. It's going to be this tank top. It's like a a lighter it's not silky it's like a just a lighter cloth and it's got this lace detailing that goes down it is a v-neck um so i have one in black i have a, this was the first one i ever bought it's pink so it's like a little bit rattier than the other ones but it's like a blush pink and i also have one in white um the white one's just in the dirty clothes but i love these um i will say the sizing is a bit weird because I have three tops, right? I bought them all in a size small. This one is insanely tight in the chest. It fits, it's just a little bit less comfortable than desired. This one is a bit bigger and looser than the other two. So the white one fits like perfect. Um, but I bought these on Amazon. The I used the same like ad or whatever listing and I just picked different colors. So if you're happy to do that. With these. They're super affordable. I think they were like, maybe $15 each, um, but I use them a lot. I just wear them with like a cardigan or whatever at my work. The next one is kind of similar, but it's more lacy. Um, and it's got kind of some detailing here, but, and it has a enclosure on the back. When I bought this, I kind of was like, eh, it looks a little bit grandma-y, but it's, it's actually really cute if you put it on. So, um, I opted to keep that, but this was, I think it's kind of maybe by a similar brand to those other two, but it's a completely different listing. So this one's super cute as well. And I only have it in the white. Um, and it does have like, um, an undershirt on it. So it's not just like sheer lace. So happy with this. This is a really nice quality too. It's a lot thicker than like the other two I showed. And then I think we're into the sweater portion. So I buy a lot of sweaters on Amazon and I have ruined one of them. This one I'm gonna show you. <laughs> um, so this one was the first ever probably piece of clothing I bought on Amazon. Um, it's like a white turtleneck. I got wine on it, that's wine, red wine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's like a white, it's a long sleeved and it is long. This guy hits me like mid thigh um, but I like it because it's actually really cozy. The cowl, or what do you call it? it? It's more of like a cowl neck than it is like a turtleneck. Like it's not really tight to you on your neck. It's looser. But that's what this is. This guy comes in a ton of different colors too. Like I was looking at buying this like golden yellow one. Um, but it's great. It's washed really well. The only problem I've had with it was my own doing. I got wine on there and didn't know when I washed it through. So now it won't come out. But yeah, this is a good one. It's got a really plain like back. It's not necessarily like high low, it's just lengthy. So I wear it with like leggings, you can wear it with a pair of jeans. Um, super affordable too. The next sweater, I don't wear this as often as I should and I think it's because I had different expectations of it when I bought it. But it's this black sweater and it's kind of got, it's distressed. So it's kind of like more distressed here and here and around the bottom it's got distressing i really like this i bought it a size too big in this hopes that i could wear it like off one shoulder and have it look good 
But I think that like my body type and the way that it it's kind of cut, it just looks like it's like choking me when I wear it how I want. So I actually do really like this. I think that it's super cute. It's an it's more of a cheaper sweater. Like it's not like the thickest material ever. You could wear this like spring or like early fall when it's like kind of warm still but not too warm. So this is it's good. I like it. So the sleeves are a bit long on me because I did size up, but I always cuff them anyways. Um, and this is what the back looks like. So I just think it's really cute. That's that one. The other, oh, the last one I got is another cowl neck sweater. Here's the front. Okay, this, I'm pretty sure this is the front. Um, it's black. It has a cowl neck somewhere in here. Oh, it's like tucked inside. So let me turn my camera up so you can see. It's a cowl neck sweater. It's long and black. I like it because it's a chunkier knit than that first cowl neck sweater I showed you. So that one you have, you can buy in black. This one you could buy in white. Um, but I like that this one's a chunkier knit than the other one. And it's not high low, but it does have a slit on the side, just a small slit. Um, and I would say this one does come down Mm, just a hair below my waist. So it's long, like it's gonna cover up like your zipper on your jeans and stuff, but it's not super long like the other one. The other one does come down quite a bit longer. Um, and I think this one might've been a, just a hair more expensive than the other one, if I'm remembering right. But this one's a super cozy too. It's a looser feel, but it is a heavier sweater than the other one. So um, that was my Amazon favorites video. It was my first video. So if it's not the greatest, we have opportunities for improvement, but um, I'm really glad that I was able to create it. And if you liked watching it, please let me know. And with that, I will see you guys next time.